were dreaming about Big Pie in the Sky. Atlanta Eats' own Mara Davis was there to dish the goods. With fresh ingredients, custom combinations, and a completely genuine New York-style recipe, they do not mess around at Big Pie in the Sky. That's why these 30-inch pizzas in Kennesaw are a must-see. Big Pie in the Sky Pizzeria. Uh, we do 30-inch pizzas, um, sell slices uh, to order, basically. You can custom make whatever slice you'd like. Uh, the slices come off of the 30-inch pizza, so one slice is definitely more than enough for most people. So we're here with Carl, champion pizza eater. Yep. How often do you come to Big Sky? Uh, I come here every once in a while. I usually come here with my friends. We get the largest size of pizza, and then we all split the cost, and we split the slices, and it's just it's awesome. It's definitely a genuine New York recipe. It has to be. Otherwise, the, it wouldn't really sustain the 30-inch size. It has to be the right kind of recipe to do that kind of dough. Handmade, every single day, we probably make anywhere from five to seven batches of dough a day. Whole milk mozzarella not from concentrate sauce, all fresh canned tomatoes on the sauce, fresh ingredients. That's really, I think, what separates us from a lot of pizzerias. That's a lot of pizza. That's a pretty healthy portion. What's your favorite part about the pizza? Is it the crust? Is it the cheese? Uh, man, you know, a pizza is a complete thing. You can't take, I mean, if I just wanted one thing on its own, I'd go to the grocery store and buy it. I want the whole thing. And you're more of a fork and a knife kind of guy. You're not a pick it up guy. When it's that big, you have to use a fork and a knife. I'd have to say, use a fork and a knife if you're a beginner, but if you're like sort of intermediate, I would definitely just go for the slice with your hands. The Big Kahuna has definitely been a big customer favorite ever since the beginning. Ham, bacon, pineapple, and feta cheese. I think it's just a little bit of a different spin on a Hawaiian. It's definitely a good combination, and that's probably why. Uh, it's one of our customer favorites. It's great. It really is. Uh, it is very large. It's a very large piece of pizza, but it's some of the best pizza I've had. West Coast Pesto is a very interesting pizza as well. Cream cheese, pesto sauce, and chicken. Very subtle flavors, but also very tasty on pizza and something very unique. Feeling especially hungry? If you think you have what it takes, then man, oh man, does Big Pie in the Sky have a challenge for you. The carnivore is basically our all-meat pizza. It's got pepperoni, sausage, ham, beef, and bacon on it. it weighs about 11 pounds total. The challenge is two people um, eating the carnivore pizza uh, in under an hour. If you win, you get $250 in cash. People will try to be sneaky and um, stuff crust in their pockets and all kinds of ways to get the $250. We've had seven winners. All of them at this point have been semi-pro food competitors, so we still need to have two legitimate you know, off the street, people come in and uh, put it down. That still hasn't happened. Are you guys ready? <laughs> oh, we're psyched. I hope so, yeah. <laughs> I think we're ready. This giant pizza is going to come out with a lot of meat on it, and you only have an hour to eat it. Eat, 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 eat. Are you ready? Oh, he's, <laughs> he's getting right. prepared. The beard is ready. <laughs> do you think they're going to do it? Uh, I honestly doubted them. I really didn't think they could do it. But the progress they're making, it's its kind of scary. I think they might actually do it. Time is running out fast, and it's looking like the Carnivore Challenge has defeated yet another daring duo. Jordan and Tanner, you took an hour, and this is what you did. How are you feeling about yourselves? Uh, uh, embarrassed. Defeated, yeah. yeah de de defeated. We ran into the wall pretty hard. Good job, you guys. It was an epic, an epic failure. And, hey, if you're going <laughs> to fail, this is the way to yeah, exactly. do it. It's quality food with the value and with the size. I mean, there's not really too many places that you're gonna be able to do that. You can literally feed eight to 10 people here for under $50 and have it be pretty much the best pizza that you've had. I think I'm gonna get another one. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, absolutely.